This video was sponsored by NordVPN. More on that later. Did you guys know that Korea has a huge surfing community? You can see just tons of people in the water here, either taking surfing lessons or just doing their usual surfing. I read some statistics somewhere that back in 2014, there was about 40,000 surfers in Korea. And by 2020, that number grew to 400,000 surfers. So it's definitely an emerging sport. And they've also got these um, tents pitched up right alongside the beach. And I don't know if these people are all surfers or if some of them are surfers or if they just like the atmosphere, the surfing atmosphere. But it's pretty cool. I was not expecting this. I think this is the only place in Korea where you can see this kind of thing, where you can see so many people surfing and have it be such a part of the culture. But right now, we're gonna go see some of the camping culture. Cause like I said, there's people who've drawn up tents all along the beach there, but there's also, we notice just tents that go on and on along the main road over further over here. So we're gonna go check them out. Annyeonghaseyo. Hey guys. Hey. Uh, we're just showing the Korean camping culture. Yeah. Do you mind, can we like show your camping stuff? <laughs> Do you do this every year? You're, you're, you're starving. So. Oh, you're starving. Really you're, 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 uh, you're, 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 you well, yeah, you're gonna fall down from all the. <laughs> you're not gonna. Are you gonna be surfing too? You guys are yeah. surfers. Yeah. Oh yeah. Are there big waves or is it just small uh, waves? You take the big wave. You take. <laughs> when do the? Where do you find the big waves? Because I I only see small ones right now. Uh, maybe maybe four. Further out. Uh. So like further out there. Yeah. Or today. big one? Today no, no. Is, no. Today oh, is today not, is not a good yeah. day. Oh, okay. All right. How long are you guys gonna be here Three for days. the weekend? Three, Three days. days. Yeah. Nice. Uh, what what holiday is it? It's long weekend, right? No. Buddha's birthday. <laughs> Buddha's birthday? Oh, oh. It's for Buddha's birthday. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. Have you been to LA? Have you Have been, been to, to Los, An Los no, Angeles? No. no? <laughs> A lot, a lot of people have uh, LA hats and LA shirts. Everybody has. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're actually from San Diego. Yeah. We're very close to LA. So. So we would go up to LA often. Yeah. And we see people camping like this all the time on the beaches in California, but we've never seen it in Korea. So we thought it was pretty cool. It's it. I mean, you could take this whole thing and put it in California, and it would be the same. You know, like you guys look like you're in California right now and then you look around and you see like a CU and you're like all oh, right I'm in Korea yeah, <laughs> yeah. very similar yeah yes. very similar anyway enjoy your food thank you guys thank you, thank you. enjoy your weekend yeah. bye. Bye. bye I mean they got like a jeep and stuff they seem very like off-road types yeah Hey, so before we continue with the rest of the video, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, NordVPN. These days, VPNs are essential, especially for travelers like me. When you're constantly on the move like I am, connecting to different Wi-Fis at hotels or cafes all the time, it can put you at an increased risk of attack, which has actually happened to me before, and it was pretty scary. I thought I was just connecting to my hotel's Wi-Fi, but later I found out that someone besides me had hacked into my Google Drive, and I couldn't log back in because they had already changed my password. 
If I had been using NordVPN, one of the largest VPN providers out there, none of my data would have been at risk because they create a secure tunnel that encrypts my data and doesn't allow anyone to access it, even if the Wi-Fi connection itself isn't secure. They've given me a special deal to share with you guys where you get a bonus four months on a two-year plan here at nordvpn.com slash camels. NordVPN has also come in handy during my travels when I haven't been able to access important websites like my bank or my health insurance because they might not trust the countries that I'm trying to access them from. But as soon as I turn on NordVPN and change the country that I appear to be accessing those websites from, problem solved. If you plan on doing any traveling, I would say it's one of the necessary things to set yourself up with before you go. You'll be surprised how useful a VPN can be, and who knows, it might really save you. So go check out NordVPN today at nordvpn.com camels to get those four bonus months on a two-year plan with a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee so you can try it out and see if it's right for you. Hey, let's see, anybody gonna take our stuff over there? I don't think so. It's Korea. I also don't. I'm not very worried. We noticed just tents that go on and on along the main road. There it is. <laughs> Still with the it, little umbrella there. With a little umbrella on top of it. I know, laptop and all. I bet you if we walk around and go back, It'll nobody will have taken it. Unless unless they take it to a lost and found. That's yeah. the only other place. I, I, I trust the Koreans. I, I th it looks very nice there with the umbrella. I feel like. It does, yeah. It looks intentionally placed there. Yeah. Nobody's going to mess I with it. I feel like it's going to be okay. While we just do a little walk around. Check, I mean, look at this. Like... There's a ton of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And there's a lot of really kind of nice cars. So it looks like this is a whole like RV camping area. Yeah. And then they have um, this little market maybe. Mm. Where you can buy beer or whatever else. Some of these look like semi-permanent. Like these two. Hi hippie places. I don't think that you set these things up. Maybe they're for rent? Overnight. Yeah, maybe. Got last night's soju. Yeah. How romantic. Uh, people are eating and stuff. What? Wow. Look, these guys got a fire. Oh, shit. Oh, guys. What's up? Hi, we're, we're uh, showing off uh, Korean surfing culture. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys got, what do you got? Somek or soju or, no, or, or beer or what? <laughs> soju, oh, for us? Okay. okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> this is a uh, cast, huh? Do you like, do you like us? Yeah. Oh, oh, beer? <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh. <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> do you guys do this every year? Girlfriend? Girlfriend, yeah, girlfriend, girlfriend, yeah. My wife. Oh, your wife. Come on! Come on! Come on! Cheers! Oh, <laughs> okay, that's pretty. I think these guys are really nice, actually. How do you say I'm Migo. Yeah. Migo. I'm a Russian. Yeah. 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 Ye
안주 와. 양념 치킨. 오케이. 땡 큐. 안주. 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 아니 How long are you guys staying for? How long are you staying for? How long? Like how how much time? Yeah, here. Three days. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Come tell me that. Wow. for three months. Filming. We're filming Korean <laughs> so Americans know what is like what Korea is like. They fired up the grill. Oh my god. Oh no. Denjang chige. Ah, gochu jang chige. Okay. It's spicy. Yeah. Spicy. Like, we're gonna try some. Very spicy or like a little. Ah, very very little. Okay. A little. We're gonna try uh, some spicy. Moderately spicy uh, chige. Chige. Don't chige. <laughs> Fishy, dry. Fishy, yeah. I've never Fishy? tried it. Fishy, dry. Okay. Wow, that's pretty weird. <laughs> oh, she, she just cooked this on the fire just now. Oh, oh I like it. Hey, what's up, you guys? Hi, hi. Mm. Ah. Wow, is that what <laughs> say kimchi? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I know, right? I bet you this is pretty good. Oh, come, Sammy, that. The whole thing is kimchi. Damn. She just cut this up real quick. <laughs> Jeez. Chapstick, did you You go for it. I think you can put the beer down. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> go for it. Kimchi and then. Alright, try the soup. Oh, wow. Is it good? Delicious, delicious. Chef, chef. Chef. Oh, chef. Come Oh, oh. 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 Oh, you're child. You're child. No, you're what? Child. I want to try. I want to try. Here, I'm gonna try. Here, you hold the camera. Okay. All right. Good try. It. 
이렇게 아니 물론 이거 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 많이 드셔보셨어. 그러니까. Yeah, it's got tofu, it's got potatoes. It's got uh, zucchini. Mmm, super good. Guys, one more time. 감사합니다. Bye, bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> That was nice. They, they invited us to come back uh, tomorrow night for drinks. Yeah, right. I think we'll definitely take them up on that. They're, they're a really fun bunch. Yeah, I really and enjoyed it. I thought they were going to be from Seoul, but they're from um, Gangwondo, this province. Oh. They're from the mountains. Oh, really? Yeah, they're from the big city in, this, in these mountains. Hi. Hi! What's up, you guys? Are you camping over here? What? You guys have a TV? They have a TV! <laughs> <laughs> That's so advanced. Wow. They brought their living room into the <laughs> I know, right? What are you playing? Can we can we come in? Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi puppies. Pretty <laughs> mean. <laughs> we are we are uh, YouTubers. And we're showing uh, the camping culture of uh, Korea. Yeah. Yeah. So this is pretty nice, actually. You guys have a pretty nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. That that's very cool. You have a PlayStation there, a Xbox. No. Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch. What? That's pretty awesome. And a Coleman cooler. What? Are you guys also surfing? Do you surf? No, no, no surfing. <laughs> only camping. Only camping. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's very nice. Well, nice to see you. Thank you, guys. Have a nice long weekend, guys. Bye. All the nice different. Uh, different styles. Different styles of people hanging out. That dog was so worked up that we were there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That dog was like, no. My people, these yeah. are mine. <laughs> now we've been gone from our bag for about an hour or at least 40 minutes. So let's see if it's still there. Let's see. With my uh, notebook and everything. You're right. I mean, we left a whole bag. 40 minutes. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm <laughs> nervous too. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Is it? Is it gone there? Oh. Yeah, actually, no, it's not. Oh. Ah, I couldn't see it for the longest time. It's like a $4,000 bag. I thought it was gone. <laughs> <laughs> it had my, like, Apple Mac, like, my MacBook in there and everything. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Hi, guys. <laughs> nice surf. Speak English? I don't know. I just said hi. <laughs> they, like, they seemed very fluent. I mean, look, we just left the setup right here like that, and nobody For even the cared. Longest time. Nobody, nobody even touched it, did they? Uh uh. Let me make sure it's still got my laptop. It feels like it does. We just left it like this. Yeah. Yep, nothing, not even, not even bothered at all. Completely unperturbed, undisturbed. Next to the bathroom, tons of people walking yeah, by. This is the bathroom. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and for learning a little bit more about parts of Korean culture you may not have known existed. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. Please subscribe to my channel and donate to my Patreon so that I can make more of these awesome videos around the world. And I'll see you in the next one.